My name is Gabrielle Zevin, and I'm the author of Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, the 2022 Book of the Year Award winner. I grew up all over the place, so I sort of feel like I'm from everywhere and nowhere. But I think it's a good thing for a writer to sort of be from nowhere. I did like to read growing up. I think, you know, books are an escape. They're a place to go to learn about the world beyond yourself. My parents took me to the library kind of like it was church. They kind of had no particular religion other than the religion of reading. I have a hard time describing tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Broadly, it's about love, art, video games, and time. I think almost everybody plays video games in some way, or they certainly play games in some way. The first generation of people to play video games as children were born in the late 1970s and early 80s. We call them the Oregon Trail generation because they were likely to have played Oregon Trail in a computer lab somewhere. What I would want people to know is that video games are really just another form of storytelling. And if you understand them that way, it's not so strange and modern, I think. We have all kinds of stories in the world, and yet it's fairly hard to find a story that is about the importance of friendship or some of the other kinds of relationships a person might have in a lifetime. And I wanted to write a story that had a different sort of love story that was still completely and fully uh, passionate. The title of the book, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, comes from one of the bleakest lines in all of Shakespeare. The character who cites it, though, he finds great hope in it. If you play a video game, you can try and try and try again, and you might win. Life is the same way. It's not as different from a video game as you think, because even though we don't have infinite lives, like every morning you wake up, you have another chance. I didn't really have much experience with Book of the Month until now, and I've just been amazed by how passionate and excited the readers are. I'd always wanted to be in Book of the Month Club, and this is my 10th novel, so to go from not being in Book of the Month to winning Book of the Year seems crazy. I'm just so, so delighted.